Uh, I'm, I opened that Maddox chat log again. Yeah. He's a liar. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. I don't know. It's all just like shit that we've heard before. Yeah. Plus, he never did anything on the podcast. I edited, wrote copy, created thumbnails, coordinated transcripts, sh- social promotion, etc. He just came in and talked about his shorts for an hour. <laughs> I think he's that it bugs him that, like, he has to prepare so much to be, you know, to. Hey, there's 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 only certain there's certain types of people there's certain personalities you're one of them who can just get on the on the radio so to speak and just be engaging yeah. and entertaining and that's not he's he doesn't naturally have that. Plus, he never did anything on the podcast. I edited, wrote copy, created thumbnails, coordinated transcripts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Social promotion, etc. Wow, is there more stuff? Yeah. And he just came and he just came in and talked about his shorts for an hour. That's great. <laughs> Me and Sean did most of the work. Uh, oh wow, you were doing most I mean, you know You I, and I, Sean were doing most of the work. Wow. I, I mixed it. That was about it. <laughs> I certainly I certainly didn't prepare for the shows, you know. I never took a break from the podcast. He did. Constantly for Disneyland, Six Flags, the Aquarium, Indy 500, Burning Man twice, mm. improv shows, camping trips, etc. He was constantly vacationing. I got tired of it. I mean, this is how he makes his living. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah it was like, you know, okay. ma- making uh, making dollars in the uh, three figures <laughs> <laughs> from that podcast, right? Yeah. I mean, uh, seriously. Yeah. This goes with his, hey, I made, uh, you know, I made uh, 20 bucks in three minutes or fucking whatever he's saying on that stupid <laughs> panel. Whatever, I made 200 bucks in six hours. There's uh, a man on the internet. Oh, God. Uh, I don't know. Some, something he I shouldn't have been I was doing the work while he was fucking <clears throat> off. Yep. God damn. Uh, Christ. Right. He really is a misogynist. I asked him to tell people Dick Masterson was a satire. He said he wouldn't because he really believed in it. He uses people to his advantage. I can't believe I missed these leaks before. Uh, Your friends, you were friends with him, she says. Yes, I'm ashamed of myself, to be honest. (laughs) (laughs) I didn't stand up for my values. I admit I made a mistake. I was friends with him even after the X thing because he finally apologized, but he didn't mean it, (laughs) even though our friendship was damaged. You're right. I didn't mean it. Well, yeah, that's, Why yeah. would I? I don't think I you said on the show I would never mean it. Yeah. I mean, there's just no way some, to tell if right. I mean it or not. It's something that lots of people <sighs> apologize for things because it just like oh that that like just you oh, check the box yeah. like it's because you didn't mean it like yeah it's just like okay now it's over. Sorry, I'm late Somebody, for yeah. work. Yeah, like, no, I'm, not. I'm not sorry at all. Yeah, um, that's what I was wondering. He wouldn't. Why? That's what I always wondered. Why wouldn't he just do his fake, sincere, insincere apology and move on to keep going? He did. Yeah. Phony. Yeah. He did, but then I guess he was secretly mad enough to say stuff about you on Reddit. Right. Too cowardly to say it to my face. I even told him if he had a problem with me, we should just go grab some beers and hash it out like men. What is that? I don't, that's his, Let's just go his, grab some. What is he like running his for idea, president? His idea of like how you're supposed to, you know, with some beers. Let's grab some beers, like a human, right? Like, like a human, human man. Yeah, we can hash it out. A good, some alcohol always calms the situation. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm. You know, alcohol. I get a couple drops of alcohol in me, and I'm like super reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <gasps> like men, he's a pussy. I can't believe, oh, I can't believe I even offered him his own show right after, the, right before the break. That's mm-hmm. true. Um, he did offer me I a show that. on his network. Yeah. Even you could have a show. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm over my ex, but, but I was upset because he drives drunk all the time. Cheats and has STDs. I wouldn't want anyone I care about to date him. He's just making it up. Yeah. yeah. 
That's what I mean. Like, I mean, I wouldn't want anyone I cared about to date him. Well, then, what do you mean I'm over my ex? I mean, I'm over my ex. Right, but I, right, right, right. But he drives drunk all the time, even morning, morning, noon, and night. Especially morning. Especially morning. <laughs> a lot I'm of times at drunk. noon. Quite a few times at night. <laughs> so, you know, a bowl of, bowl of fucking Fruit Loops and wine in the in your car in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> The gay ones, yeah. Mm. She says, oddly enough, you mentioned an episode about how his life coach or whatever got slapped by a chick, and he had no idea why she did it. So it makes you wonder if he just doesn't get it or is just blatantly lying to piss you off or get more fans listening. Mm. No idea. Code for not wanting to tell you. He knows. I think it would be damaging to his reputation to know he's a backstabbing liar. Oh, my God. Who hides financial records from his partner? Don't you? The old financial, financial records. Financial records. He's a, oh wow, he's a sociopath. He's an agent of chaos. <laughs> that's that's Eric's next comic book. Agent of chaos. Yeah. Trucks me. Uh he doesn't know how to take a victory and walk away. What does that mean? Okay, is that admitting that you kind of won the whole, you know, the blow up of the show? I mean, it kind of seems mind, like it. yeah. Yeah, so it's like you just just go away. Yeah, yeah. Everyone thinks I'm the bad guy, and he has all the money. He's fucking my ex for crying out, out loud. Talk about out, <laughs> out of left field. Like, uh, what, what are you saying? Like, that's over the line? <laughs> that's a very disjointed... Uh, that's a very disjointed thought. Yeah. He has all the money. He's fucking my ex Everyone for thinks I'm a bad guy. He's fucking my ex for crying out loud. And the ex is capitalized. Yeah. What does that even mean? My ex... I mean, does that mean that it's more important than if he was fucking your girlfriend? He's fucking my... I mean, that's <laughs> really my bad. Wife. It's right? my ex wife. It's my ex. For fuck's sake, is nothing sacred. Why have I been sitting on these for so long? Uh, he's fucking my ex for crying out loud. Wouldn't that be like a punishment? Yeah, yeah, what yeah a loser. maybe. Uh, he's fucking my ex for crying out loud. Right, that's how a lot of guys would take it. Like, you know, it's How like, much more does he want? <laughs> That's what he said. Oh, my God. I thought you were just making that up. How much more does he want? He's a sociopath. Here, take my blood. <laughs> take my ex blood out of my... You want my ex shit, too? Yeah. Yep. Uh, Guess you won't be happy till you have all of me. He always fucks things up for himself. Wait, how? I don't know. He told someone recently that he's out to get me. And he put me in, like, brackets. Yeah, meaning why? That it's like, in, well, it's, usually you do that... You know, uh, to because that's not the quote. Yeah. So he replaced me with he replaced something with me, or just inserted me. Um, uh, oh, that's weird. She says, "Are these?" Yeah, he sounds like one of those. Those times you mentioned on the show, he leans towards chaos. End up being pretty true. Oh God, she's leading him on. Obviously, yes, uh, yeah, sure seems like it, right? Just Why would he want to keep get, going? Why would he want to get you even more than he already has? And why isn't he worried at all that you just get you just eventually say the truth? Yeah, so she's trying to go to Mendoza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does he really know you well enough to know that you won't? Oh, <laughs> there you go. I don't know. Honestly, I have no idea. That's what's so infuriating about him. He has everything. He's got money, wow, talent, talent wow. know how, etc. But it's not enough. He's a miserable asshole who has to ruin people's lives. <laughs> Well, why did you do the video saying I was a fucking date rapist or whatever it was? Yeah, or maintains a rape list. Mm hmm. Oh, he gave you he gave you some props though. I mean, you it's pretty know, good. Yeah, I mean, money, you talent, yeah, know know how. How. yeah. I mean, it's fucking my ex for God's sake. Yeah, he's my a malicious ex. <laughs> Um. Well, are you saying anything? Well, are you not saying anything that you could use it all to sue him at some point? Are you? Oh my God, really? Or do you just think it's better to let him have the dummies like I was? Oops, supporting him while your real fans just move on. Both. Huh. Uh, huh. Those are wild. This before the lawsuit, I think. Yeah, I guess so. Also, because he's a small man on a small hill, I don't want to give him any more promotion. He gets set off very easily. I've said nothing about him since the split, and he's trying to goad me into a response. Uh, it seems more like defamation now on his part. He gets off on it. It is defamation. <laughs> well, one of those is true. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and you have a book coming out, so I would worry it could hurt sales or something. Uh, no, no the, the, book, the book will hurt sales. 
<laughs> I mean, this this whole thing, this little, uh, you know, this little tip this whole feud great. is, yeah, no, it's not going to hurt sales. It's like, you know, what's the, it's like, no, no, yeah, the pants don't make your ass look fat. fat. Yeah, your ass makes your ass look fat. Uh, no, I just want to focus on work. If I spend time being negative and trying to take him down, it's a distraction from my work. Yeah, it's not like he's, uh, you know, it's like he's not yeah. distracted in private 24-7 no, no, by... No. I'm All too busy this. for this high school drama. So tell people you trust and defend me in public. That's all I ask. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> tell people you trust? Yeah. What? Like an internet like, comedian. Who fucking... I'm, what kind of ask is that? I, I don't know. Guys, if you tell people you trust about me. This is just between me and you. And for this Christmas, only tell people you trust about us. Right. Defend uh, me in public. Defend me. Defend me in public. That's all I ask. Yeah. Put your put your reputation on the line for me. That's all I ask. Uh, the worst thing you can do. I made a promise 19 years ago to not have ads on my list. Oh my god! <laughs> that is. is that? <laughs> if there was ever proof of <laughs> autism, it was. It's like uh, that has to how be. How is that? It's like a gag where you like have yeah. to work work it in. Yeah. In Arnold every situation, can I'll he be back. do it? I don't have ads yeah. on my website. She says, I guess at this point, even if you told the truth, he could just say you're lying, forcing you to actually bring a lawsuit, which could just make you look bad to some. So for him, he gets attention either way. I made a promise 19 years ago not to have ads on my website, and I still don't. And nobody is holding me accountable except myself. I think that speaks to my character. What? Yeah. Yeah, it does, actually. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's not wrong. He's a manipulator. And I'm not going to let him manipulate me. He's trying to get a rise out of me because he has no content and no show. So talking about me is all he's got. Well, you're a very interesting well, guy. But he, yes, yes, he is. Very interesting and guy. Also, he Everyone's he did he did get a rise bulb. out of you. <laughs> and I got a, uh, I got a rise in pay <laughs> out of it. 